This is a picture of me at eight years old. <laughs> I don't think I've changed at all, actually. I still have the same eyes. Just the glasses, I think, are different. When I look at this picture, I see myself, but in my truest, most authentic form. And I think our inner child or the child that we used to be is who we truly are. And we feel the safest around people in which we can show that inner childlike self. And the reason why we get so nostalgic about times when we were children is because obviously we had no responsibilities, no things that we had to worry about. Life hadn't beaten us to a pulp where we had to basically grow up so instantaneously, where we had to go through immense amount of responsibilities. Life hadn't made us serious yet. We could just live life and be present. And I think that's why our fondest memories are for a time that used to be, because we were present, truly, in the moment. We didn't care what anybody else thought of us. We didn't care what the neighbor said or what our friends said or what anything like that. You could just be and exist without any worry, without any anxiety. All you were stressed about was, <laughs> all you were worried about, all you were wondering was, what am I gonna eat today? Or, what am I gonna do at the park? Or, oh, I'm so excited to see my friend. Every moment as a child felt real. The present moment felt like that's all that there was. There wasn't that click that you get when you become self-aware and you become aware of the fact that we're gonna die and all of these things, all of these really serious, heavy things. Part of me wants to do justice to my inner child. And a lot of the times we have to heal our inner child. A lot of our traumas come from when we were kids. And at the time we couldn't conceptualize what was happening. But now as adults, we recognize the things that have happened to us and the things that have traumatized us. And to heal our inner child, to go back to our truest, most authentic selves is simply to be in the present and letting go of all of the worries and the nonsense and the things that we go through in our day-to-day -day lives that make us so serious. And look, listen, I don't blame us either. Once you get a ton of freaking responsibilities, what the, what the hell are you supposed to do? <laughs> like ser seriously, there's nothing you can do. You get so viscerally, existentially aware of, of the this finite life that we that we have, and times like these make me look back at me when I was a child and long for a time where I didn't have to worry about anything. I could just be, I could just love the things that were childlike. I could have like a ridiculous amount of plushies and fall asleep hugging them and, and I wouldn't be judged <laughs> or thought like I'm crazy. I don't give a <laughs> Because only when I, I access that part of me that, that, that part of me that loves like silly, goofy, funny, nonsensical things, only when I am able to do things that I used to do as a kid and not be worried about, that's when I truly feel free and I truly feel like myself. I think the most wonderful experience that you could have is showing that inner child to somebody, that child that wanted to be loved, that wanted to be seen, that whatever it is that you went through, because we all went through something in our childhood. We all went through a specific type of trauma that takes us years and years and years to freaking recalibrate and learn from and it's arduous and it's tough and it's difficult and it's serious but life isn't so serious 
on the daily, I am so hard on myself. Feeling like I'm not worth it, feeling like I'm not doing enough, feeling like I'm not making people proud or I'm not doing this or feeling like people are gonna judge me, all of these things. And then I look at this picture of me and I realize that I'm being tough on her, on a kid. Because at the end of the day, we're all just kids who had to grow up because they had to. And that is who I am at the core. This child that likes to wander, that likes to wonder, that likes to explore, that likes to learn. And at the essence, for us to really get to know who we are, we need to explore that part of ourselves. That part of ourselves that we feel shameful for. And we need to take it easy on ourselves because the authentic self lives in the present moment. It wanders, it explores, it has fun, it experiences emotions immensely and shows them without fear. Our child self took us through life. They endured. She injured, I injured. I think we can learn a thing or two about our past selves, to not take things so seriously, to not be so hard on ourselves, to be in the present moment, to just enjoy life, to jump in a puddle because why not? <laughs> to run in the park because why not? To go down a slide because why not? It's fun. Throw some mud, I don't know. Just do something because you want to because you want to learn what it's like, because you want to learn what it feels like. Because as we get older, we get more lazy. We don't want to experience new things. We don't want to wander. We don't, we get so tired, so drained by life. And, to and I totally understand. We torture ourselves to be serious, to take ourselves seriously. Why? Who cares? <laughs> Nobody cares. Your truest self is your childhood self because they didn't give up on learning, on wondering, on asking questions. And that is the essence of our being. And part of me, all of me, wants to do justice by little Alex. Little me. Because this is who I am. This is who I am. At the core, in my soul. This is me. And I can learn a thing or two about this one about how to be happier. Enjoy everything that you loved as a kid. And with that, I'm gonna end with something embarrassing that I still do from when I was a kid, and that is sleep with a teddy bear. I do that. I still do that every night. I don't care. I absolutely do not care what you have to say, and that is doing justice to little me, is to not care what anybody else thinks, is to not take myself so serious, it's to do things just because I feel joy from it. I, <laughs> one time I, was, I received a, a plushie as a gift and I was so happy. I was so, so happy. And somebody else said to me, you're a grown ass woman. Why do you need, why do you need so many plushies? Because, fuck you. <laughs> That's why, <laughs> because I want to, because it makes me happy. Don't sacrifice the things that made you happy when you were a kid. Don't sacrifice being present in the moment, enjoying life, doing things just because you feel like it, just because you can. Our childhood selves got us so far in life. And we work tirelessly to forget about them, to 
push them down like they're not part of us yet we long for a time where we were kids we didn't have to worry about things we didn't have to worry about responsibilities about life about people dying about our careers about what we want to be or what our purpose is or whatever it is the older we get the more life experience we get and as a kid our minds weren't clicked yet and now that they are we realize oh how good it was to be a child yeah that's it uh thanks for watching and have a great day bye <laughs>